where she, where she used to live, anyway, yeah. Uh, Queen Victoria, excellent. What else do we have, yes? King David. All right, Solomon was his son. So we've got David and Solomon, yes. Queen Elizabeth, our reigning queen. 90-something, right? I mean, amazing. Yes, any more? You've had an answer. Anybody else? Um, King, King William of Normandy. King oh. William of Normandy. 1066 and all that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah I'm, I'm impressed with your memory. Your parents were probably alive at that point, and they probably told you all about it first-hand account, I'm sure. Uh, you have one? Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth. I am. I am Henry the Eighth. I am. Yes. Um, King Harold Godwinson. Harold. Godwinson. Godwinson. Harold Godwinson. We're talking a long time ago, aren't we? Yes, we are. Any more? Yes. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Well, you know that's a really good one because. Although he didn't have the title king, he definitely was a king. So that's left field and creative. Thank you very much. There's one more over here somewhere. Yes, sir. King Harold II. King Harold II. King Harold III. What about the fourth? Was that the fifth? <laughs> second. Only the second? Okay. You got kings and queens. Uh, we look up to them. Sometimes we look don't, not so much up to them because of their behavior. Sometimes it's admirable. Sometimes it's not. But there are lots of kings and queens through history. Now, let me ask you a different question. What do you think it would be like? To be a king or a queen, what would it be like if that was your situation? Yes? Boring. A bit boring. <laughs> I must admit, I feel sorry for the queen now and again with all the people she has to meet, and if she may not be that interested, I don't know. What would it be like to be a king or a queen? Difficult. Difficult. Might be hard work. Yeah. Fun. It might be fun. Think of all the palaces you could go and have fun in. Yeah, and all those lovely places you could go. It could be fun, the ride in the carriage. What else, yes? Um, it would be sometimes boring. It might be sometimes boring. Sometimes exciting, sometimes boring. Brave. Sorry? Did you say brave? Yeah, you might have to be brave. Especially in the olden days, if you were the king, you were supposed to go off and fight. Right, in the army. In fact, you're supposed to lead all your troops. Mm, absolutely, yes. Is the queen in hell a monster? Mm -hmm. And mummy has to come out. And mu if, a, if the queen went out and saw a monster, then her mummy might come out. Mm -hmm. I think she would. I think she would. I think you're right. That's what mummies are for. To fight monsters, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's part of what they're for, definitely, amongst a few other things. All right, let me read you a story about a king. Right, and I need some sound effects, and I'll tell you when they come. All right? This story is called Yertle the Turtle. Wow. Mm -hmm. There are definite, significant spiritual applications, adults, so pay attention and figure it out as we go. All right, I'll read the story. On the faraway island of Salamisond, Yertle the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean, it, it was neat, the water was warm, there was plenty to eat. The turtles had everything turtles might need and they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were, until Yertle, the king of them all, decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. I'm ruler, said Yertle, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. What a king. I'd be ruler of all I could see. So... Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand, and Yertle the Turtle King gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in a nine-turtle stack. And then Yertle climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view. He could see almost a mile. All mine! Yertle cried, oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow. Sound effect. Mm. And I'm king of a mule. Sound effect. <laughs> well, that sounds like a very sick mule to me. <laughs>
I'm king of a house, uh, what's more beyond that? I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Yertle the turtle, marvellous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And all through the morning he sat there up high saying over and over, a great king am I. <laughs> Until round about noon. Then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king as he looked down at the stack and he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac. <laughs> just a part of his throne, and this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Turtle, I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How, must long, how, how long must, must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence! The king of the turtles barked back. I'm king, and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your plow place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow. <laughs> and I'm king of a mule. Still no better. I'm king of a house and king of a bush and king of a cat, but that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, his royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles. I want about 200. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed, and the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens, whole families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another they climbed up the stack. Then Yertle the turtle was perched up so high, he could see 40 miles from his throne in the sky. Shouted Yertle, I'm king of the trees. I'm king of the birds and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne, what a wonderful chair. I'm Yertle the turtle, oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all I can see. Mm. Then again, from below, in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Mac. Your Majesty, please, I don't like to complain, but down here below, we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are seeing great sights, but down at the bottom, we too should have rights. We turtles can't stand it. Our shells will all crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty king, Yertle. You've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds, over land, over sea. There's nothing, no, nothing that's higher than me. But while he was shouting, he saw with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. What's that? snorted Yertle. What is that thing that dares to be higher than Yertle the king? I shall not allow it. I shall go higher still. I'll build my throne higher. I'll stack them and I will. I'll call some more turtles. I'll stack them to heaven. I need about 5,607. <laughs> but, but as Yertle the Turtle King lifted his hand and started to order and give the command. That plain little turtle below in the stack, that plain little turtle, whose name was just Mac, decided he'd taken enough, and he had. And that plain little lad got a little bit mad, and that plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped. Oh. <laughs> And his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yertle the turtle, the king of the trees, the king of the air, and the birds and the bees, the king of the house and the cow and the mule. Well, that was the end of King Turtle King's rule, for Yertle the king of Salamason fell off his high throne and fell pluck in the pond. <laughs> and today, that great Yertle that marvellous he is king of the mud. <laughs> that is all he can see. And the turtles, of course, all the turtles are free. 
as turtles and maybe all creatures should be. <laughs> Yurtle the Turtle King. So let me ask you some questions, right? Funny little story, fun little story, nice little story. Now, but what was the king's problem? What do you think? Because what was the king's, King Turtle, King Yurtle the Turtle, what was his problem? Yes, sir. That he had one super high. Super high, he did, yes. Yeah, he was selfish, wasn't he? That was a big problem, yes? He wanted to be the best. Wanted to be the best, the highest, yeah. He wanted he wanted to stay there. Forever? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He didn't care about whatever happened to anybody else. Is your hand up? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, he was um he wanted anything he wanted with turtles. He just wanted it. He didn't care, did he? What what happened to other people? Is your hand up? Yeah. He he wanted to go higher. Higher and higher. He didn't care about the cost. Think of everything he could see and everything he thought might be out there that he couldn't see, right? He wanted to be king of everything. What, so what, what did he forget? What did this king forget? Yes. About um, the poor creatures. They, they can be really hurt and that would be bad. Ah, it would be bad. They'd get hurt. He forgot about the other creatures, yeah. He didn't care about anybody. Only himself, right? Didn't care about anybody else. Um, he was, um, he didn't care about people, um, yep. he didn't care about Mac, he mm -hmm. forgot, he forgot that all the turtles were just turtles and he was just a turtle, really, right? He forgot, he forgot what was really going on. And how do you think all the other turtles felt? How do you, how do you think they felt? How did they feel? How did those little turtles feel? Sad. They felt sad, didn't they? They felt very sad, yes? Pressured. Pressured. <laughs> yes, very, very much a sense of deep pressure, yes? The turtles make and they fell down. They fell down. And that must have hurt. Yeah, so they were in pain. They felt horrified. Horrified by this, <laughs> this supposed king, yes. They were not being happy with the king. They weren't happy with the king. No, they weren't. They were very tired. They were very tired and hungry. Which means I won't go on much longer because there's food Amen. coming, all right? We all know that. All right, so thank you. Let's just move on a little bit here. So let me ask you this. So let's shift from thinking about Yurtle the turtle to uh, the king turtle to Jesus the king. Was Jesus a king? Yeah. Was he? What kind of king was he? What kind of king? A special king. Yes, very good. Okay. Uh, and Jesus was the powerfulest king in the world. The powerfulest king in the world. Mm -hmm. And he was a good king. You're quite right, yes. He, Marina, he was thirsty. He was thirsty. He was thirsty himself. Quite right, he was a thirsty king. Um, he, was, um, the ruler oh. he was the ruler over everything. All right. Yes, sir. He was He was the ruler of everybody, but what was he then? But what was different be between Jesus the King and Yertle the Turtle the King? What was the difference? Yeah. Um, he cared about people. He cared about people, even the small turtle Mac or whatever. Yes. He never sinned. He didn't sin. Certainly, Yertle the Turtle King did sin, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, um, he, wasn't, he Jesus was a good king, Yertle the turtle was a bad king. Quite right, he yes. Was oh. He was he was he was uh, treating the other turtles like slaves, which Jesus doesn't do, does he? No, he doesn't. Yeah. He um, wanted to um, he he wanted to um, stay up there, but he wanted. 
couldn't. Right, the turtle, Yertle, the turtle king, wanted to stay at the top but couldn't. Jesus, of course, could stay at the top but he decided not to. For us, right? There's a reversal or inversion going on there. All right, adults getting it? Yeah. Still, still with it? Getting some spiritual points here? Okay, good, good, good. Um, Rudy alluded to, I perhaps didn't quite exactly quote this scripture in the, earlier on, but, but it's a very similar, if not exactly the same one. Jesus said this about being in charge, right? And a lot of people would say they'd like to be in charge of things. But what did Jesus say about being in charge? He said, not so with you in Matthew 20. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. So a godly king is a servant king, not a slave-owning king, not making other people do what makes him feel better, but serving. Isn't that the amazing thing about Jesus? He serves us although he's a king. Quite an incredible thing. Yes? Jesus gave them the turtles food. Jesus gave the turtles food. They, they did get all their food from him, didn't they? Mm -hmm. yeah, even though maybe they didn't realize it. Yes, sir? He's not a bad king. Mm, sorry? He's not, he, does not, he does not sin. No, he does not sin. He's not a bad king. He's a very good, perfect king. Which leads me on to one final thought, and then we'll take communion, everybody. All right, I'm going to take some bread and wine. Which is this, that this Yotel the Turtle wanted to climb as high, as high, as high as possible to, to get what he wanted. Jesus was lifted high. But not for his own sake. For ours. On the cross. That's where he was effectively proclaimed king, publicly you could say, was on the cross. In Matthew 27, they twisted together a crown of thorns. I don't know about you, but if I was ever to be king, I wouldn't want a crown of thorns. I'd like one with rubies and diamonds. But he had a crown of thorns and they set it on his head. They put a staff in his hand, they knelt in front of him and mocked him, Hail, King of the Jews. And they, and they did that to him because they didn't understand his kingship. So we, we now worship Jesus and we love him and follow him because he was willing to go to the cross in our place, he was willing to be lifted up for death so that we could be lifted up to a new life. We have new life because he was willing to give his for us. That's a real king. That's a great king, let's say. That's the best kind of king or queen there could be. That kind of king. And we love him because he is the king who died for us. When we take the bread and the wine each week, which the adults do, kids, I know sometimes, you know, you may wonder when, about this bread and wine stuff, and, you know, you'll, you'll take it one day if you wish. But the reason we um, taller, older, grayer, older people take it is because, is because we love Jesus. We think he's amazing, and we want to be refreshed in our love for him. That's why we're doing this. His example inspires us to serve one another. This is a week, my friends, and we're going to go out from here to serve others. We're going to do it, not because it's a duty, but because we're inspired by the different kind of leadership that Jesus shows us, as he is our servant king. So let's pray, and then we'll take some bread and some wine. Amen. Father, we want to thank you that we are uh, able to gather together here to celebrate an amazing king. In fact, Jesus' unique kingship is the only one of his kind. Thank you that he was willing to be not just a king, uh, 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 not, to, not a kind of a worldly king, but a different kind of a king, a king who truly served those of us who love him and follow him. Father, I want to thank you for um, his example, which means we don't have to be like other people of authority in this world who are looking to make themselves feel more comfortable, make things more convenient for them. But Father, instead we can serve others, giving up our own time and energy because we know that you will reward those efforts because we are following Jesus. We thank you for this bread and wine because it reminds us of what Jesus did, that he made the ultimate sacrifice. And we pray that as we take the bread and the wine that it, this will strengthen us in remembrance of Jesus to go and live like him in this world and make a difference, bringing the kingdom to fruition around us. Thank you for the children being with us today. Thanks that we can enjoy these stories and times of talking together. 
We're very grateful that you've made us this Christian community here in Lower Early. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.